Hey guys, Little V here. Yes, you can use my songs in your videos. No, I don't do tabs. I guess I should just make that my formal intro now. Anyways, so first off, as you can see, there is no cover this week. I apologize. I have just been swamped with work and busy and stuff. I just, I couldn't get one out that I wanted, that, that, that would be good. I could have like slapped something together in a couple minutes, but then it wouldn't have been good. And I would have felt like crap for not putting it up and putting the effort into it. So I will do one next week, but this week I'm pretty much just tied up with stuff. So instead, I'm gonna give you a different type of video. So over my 10 or so years of playing music, I've figured out a couple things, a couple little tidbits and little tricks and tips and things over the years that help just in general get further into the music industry and get you further and just help you succeed more. And I figure I'd pass along some of that stuff to you guys. So let me preface this with I'm only 23 and I just turned 23. I turned 23 back in about two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago at the time of this, at the time of this footage, assuming you're looking at the clock and the date this was posted. And I've been playing music, drums specifically, for 10 years now and guitar for about four and a half years now. And been playing like playing gigs for about eight years now. So I'm still pretty new to this kind of stuff. There's guys who've been playing music for 30 or 40 years that I'm sure are probably going to find this video and go, Oh my god, that's already common knowledge and blah 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 and oh man, that guy doesn't know what he's talking about. So yes, this video is going to be aimed more towards the beginners and the intermediates, but the advanced guys might know something, might learn some things from this as well too. So, first tip, and this one kind of goes without saying, but YouTube and internet comments, not on my videos in particular, just on the internet in general, seem to disprove this as being common sense on a daily basis, and that is DON'T BE AN ASSHOLE. My god, the amount of comments I see on other videos, on band music videos, on stuff of Oh my god, this guy sucks so much, and I can play way better than him, and oh, how his stuff is so boring, and oh my god, blah, blah, blah. like, oh man, the amount of stuff I see of that. It's just it's mind-boggling and then they and then those guys wonder why they're the guys leaving the comments their musical careers aren't doing all that good is Because it's obvious they're dicks. I'm gonna tell you right now the music business um, just, just let you guys know it is actually very little about Playing music and more about like knowing how to make connections and working with other people because if you can't play well with others, you're not gonna get very like. And I don't mean that as in like a literal playing music with others. I mean that as in like like working with other people. Probably not gonna get that far. This probably isn't the industry you want to get into then, because it's 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 more about how many people you know and being a nice person. All right. So tip number two. This is a bit more about the actual playing of music. And by the way, these tips work for anyone who plays music. Doesn't matter if what instrument you play or what genre you play or if you're playing by yourself and playing stuff on YouTube or playing with a band. It works for everyone. So tip number two is learn how to play with a metronome. Now, you really should be practicing with a metronome from the start anyways, just to help with your timing, but especially now more than ever, a lot of bands play with backing tracks. And usually that means you gotta be linked up via click track or metronome to the tracks so you don't waver and, and then it doesn't, you know, you don't go off time from everything. So Learn how to play with a click track, and once again, that sounds like it would be the easiest thing in the world, and to me, I found it very easy and very simple, just because I practiced with metronomes and stuff, and, you know, being a drummer from the start, rhythm never really been an issue for me. But I've seen, like, other drummers who can't play with a metronome, but the, just the clicking throws them off, like, hard, and they just can't do it. And, and so, yeah, like, it's... I know this is another thing that sounds stupid and silly, but just learn to play with a metronome. Okay, tip number three. Learn multiple styles of music, and in fact, learn as many styles of music as you possibly can. Now, a couple good reasons for this. One, you'll know more styles of music, therefore you can get more gigs. So, you know, this one week you may have a rock gig, next week you may have a jazz gig, next week you may have a blues gig, next week you have a, might have a death metal gig. So, more gigs, more playing, more exposure, more money more connections, and then of course you get known around town as the guy who can do all the stuff, like in, who can get hired as, oh good, he's a good jazz drummer, he's a good, you know, blues drummer, he's a good metal drummer, or he's a good guitar player, he can play, you know, blues, jazz, rock, Latin, whatever, and that one really helps. Two, you can also start then pulling from other styles of music and incorporating it into your own. So you can take things that are traditionally more blues oriented and you can mix it with like, 
Latin styles, or you can bring it into the death metal stuff, or whatever you really want to do. And that's how a lot of genres are created. And then of course, there's the other thing too when learning all styles of music is that too many people blow off styles of music simply because they don't like them. And for like, the dumbest reasons like that, and, not, and no, no reason other than just, I don't like it, or it's gay, or it's, it's boring. And I look at that and I think, well, then you're just, you, you don't get it. It goes right over your head. Like, if anything, the stuff you don't like, that's the stuff you need to dive in the hardest and understand how it works and why it's popular and, and then why those specific type of songs resonate with so many people. Look at pop songs, for example. Pop has been, you know, like popular music, as it's short for, is, well, the most popular genre on the planet because it's the easiest to get into and it doesn't take a lot of theory and stuff to play and it's not technically difficult. And a lot of people would consider that boring, but at the same time, it's like it works and it works really well. There's a reason why pop songs are getting hundreds of millions of views on YouTube and selling and being on the top 40 billboards the whole time. Now, the, the irony behind this is the guys backing up the big artists, you know, the Rihannas, the Jay-Zs, the blah 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 blah, all that stuff. The, the irony is the, the, the musicians who are playing with them are some of the best in the world. That's how they got the job in the first place. In fact, Jay-Z's drummer, uh, Tony Royster Jr., is considered to be one of the best drummers alive right now and there's a really funny uh there's a really funny video of him at about 12 at the modern drummer festival just tearing it up The dude is basically, if we're talking, if I'm talking to guitar players here, the dude is basically Tosin Abasi, but on drums. The dude is insane, and he's playing like. <laughs> All right, so before I keep rambling more on that point, I'm gonna move on to point number four, which kind of ties into the last point, and that give it a kiss. And what I mean by that is keep it simple, stupid. You don't need to get crazy. The, the, the misconception, especially in the metal world, the metal world is the worst for this. This is the absolute worst of this. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm throwing the metalheads under the bus here, but metalheads is the worst for this, is that the concept of if it is simple, it is now bad. If it is if it is not complicated and a flurry of notes and has like more than just a verse, chorus, pre-chorus, bridge type, you know, basic rock pattern setup, it is now garbage of a song and is not a song. And you look at bands like a mirror. A mirror gets like pooped on all the time because it's so it's like oh it's it's like one or two riffs and stuff like that. But you know what? Those those guys can get the same emotional response out of one note as some guys can get their emotional response out of fifty or sixty notes. I see a fire in the sky. I mean, all you have to do is look at the stuff that got you into playing music. And it was probably something like Jimi Hendrix or Led Zeppelin. All those guys, like, you look at a Jimi Hendrix song, and ultimately it's not a complicated song. There are some cool little chords and stuff that, you know, are more advanced, but, like, the songs are very straight ahead. It's very, like, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and just very straight ahead. Not a flurry of notes and not a crazy bunch of stuff, and it doesn't need to be. And that's why the songs are so popular, is because as soon as you start trying to like out, as soon as you start making music a competition about who can play more notes and who can play crazier stuff, you then lose the people who aren't musicians. They're, then your audience just got shrunk down to musicians who most of the time, as I've said before in a previous comment with the, the uh, no, don't be a whole thing, is that a lot of these people are just gonna be I can play that better. Oh, I can do that way better than this guy can. Oh my god, and it just becomes this like inherent competition. And it shouldn't be. Music is about just music at its core is just using melodies and chords and sound to elicit emotional responses from people. So basically in closing on point number four is just keep it simple. It doesn't need to be complicated to be good. It can be simple and it can be and it can be freaking amazing. You don't have to get super intricate and super crazy and have 40 or 50 parts and turn the song into riff soup. You can make it real 
real simple. All right, I hope this didn't get too preachy for you guys. I'll know soon enough as I start editing the video and then uploading it and then I can go, oh man, now I, now I sound like an asshole. But I really hope some of this stuff really helps you get new insight into the music business and into music in general. And I can't guarantee this stuff will get you more gigs and get you more recognition, but it'll give you a huge advantage over the guys who are more closed-minded and don't think about things like this. All right, well, this has been Philosopher V signing off. And I'm gonna go do this and then I'm gonna go prep for what will essentially be 12 hour a day recordings for the weekend working with a guy finishing up a record with him. So, uh, that's gonna be a lot of coffee. Oh boy. Anyways, rock on, peace out, see you guys next week with an actual cover!